Hello and welcome to Learn Data. It's great to have you on this channel. I'm Nilesh, and in this video, we'll look at uh, pre processing in scikit-learn and we'll continue discussing about imputation of missing values. In previous video, we looked at univariate feature imputation. Here, we'll look at multivariate feature imputation and uh, specifically look at what it is, the intuition behind iterative imputer and we'll look at the code snippet in the last slide before getting into Jupyter Notebook. So what is multivariate imputation? If you remember in previous video, for, uh, for univariate imputation, if there is a missing value in a feature, then the data in that feature is used to substitute or replace or impute that missing value. For example, here, if the missing value is there in the second row, the goal would be to calculate the mean for the remaining data and then put that mean here. So 5 plus 1 is 6 divided by 2, which is 3. So the missing value would be replaced by 3. However, in multivariate imputation, uh, the method is slightly different. Here, each uh, column is considered as an output column and one uh, for example in this case we have a uh, five feature columns in this data set and the first three features have missing values in them so the way to impute them works is like this we first consider feature one and set it as an output column and then use the remaining four columns as input to a regressor that then predicts the missing value uh, in feature one and then moving on a uh, second feature is considered here it has a missing value so second feature is uh, set as an output and then the remaining four features so feature one three four and five are used as an input to train a regressor and then predict the missing value in feature two finally uh, uh, the feature 3 is set as an output and the regressor is trained on the features 1, 2, 4 and 5 and uh, one thing I forgot to mention is that while training it needs a target so the target which is the output is uh, it uses only the non-missing value data so here only these 12 and 13 those Two rows which have the data would be used and once the data the regressor is trained it can be used to fit uh, sorry it can be used to predict the missing values in that particular output feature so in this case it would be the feature 3 so uh, in a summary the iterative imputer that we'll see uh, in the code in Jupyter notebook works in uh, the following steps the regressor is fit on input and the known output which means that the missing values or missing uh, the rows with missing values are excluded and the regressor predicts the missing output uh, for that particular feature and then this is done for each feature and repeated for number of iterations and then the result from the final imputation is uh, used for the imputation uh, final round of iteration and this is um, on the scikit-learn docs that this still is an experimental uh, method and we'll know if there are any updates in the doc as uh, days go by now the estimators that can be used or the regressors that can be used with the iterative imputer are as follows and it's perfectly okay if you are not familiar with this because we'll go through these in coming videos in future but now the important point to take away is how to implement these methods to impute missing values in a data set so uh, the Bayesian ridge is the default setting therefore I put that in orange it's a regularized linear regression so uh, by regularized or by ridge it means that uh, it will have certain features in the model 
that uh, prevents it from overfitting a data set or if there are too many features it will uh, work with that in such a way that uh, the data the model does not overfit and this is based on the bayesian approach uh, for modeling now the second two are decision tree regressor and extra trees regressor uh, so it's the nonlinear regression and then extra trees, trees regressor is similar to the miss forest regressor that is in R programming and then finally there is a k neighbor uh, k neighbors regressor which is based on the k nearest neighbor k a k n n again if it's perfectly okay if you do not know how each of these works uh, i'll be creating separate videos to go through each of these methods in detail in future videos here uh, we'll focus on how to implement these and see what type of imputed values we get in the output and for, this is the code snippet uh, first we need to import numpy and these are two libraries uh, one is to enable underscore iterative underscore imputer and then we also impute the iterate uh, import the iterative imputer and finally uh, we also import bayesian ridge because that's the estimator that is shown being used in the code here the method is exactly same as we have been seeing we initialize imp with iterative imputer and then do the fit and then do the transform now let's get into jupyter notebook and see how we can implement these so there are a bunch of libraries that we need to import uh, for this video so let's go ahead and do that uh, the two i've already put the numpy and preprocessing next we'll import the simple imputer sklearn dot impute import simple imp imputer and then uh, we need to import the libraries for iterative imputer so from is sklearn dot experimental import enable underscore iterative underscore imputer and then we have from sklearn dot impute import and here we have iterative imputer with a capital i uh, for inter iterative and imputer as well then we'll uh, import libraries for the regressors so the first one is bayesian ridge so sklearn dot linear underscore model uh, import uh, bayesian ridge and then next one will import from sklearn dot tree import decision tree so d so when decision tree uh, regressor and after that we have from sklearn dot ensemble import extra trees regressor so this is similar to the mist forest so we import those and then finally we have sklearn dot neighbors and here we are going to go ahead and import k neighbors so k n e i -T. neighbors regressor so we need all of those libraries and we'll see how we can implement these libraries now and uh, these are the versions that i'm using all right in this video moving on now let's go ahead and create an array that we are going to use for as a data set so we'll create an array x is equal to np dot array and here we'll have a couple of rows the first row has the values one and two and then the second row we have values three and four and then likewise we go up to five six and we then have np.nm so there should have been a value of seven there but we now have replaced it with eight and finally in the last row we have nine and missing value nan 
so here this could have been 9 and 10 but we have a missing value there so this is the data that we have now uh, as we've seen previously the method is we first initialize the variable imp so iterative imputer and we use the max underscore iter is equal to let's say 10 iteration random state is equal to zero now the default value default uh, estimator is k uh, is the bayesian ridge so if we do not specify the regress uh, the estimator here that's perfectly okay and here then we'll be going to use the mp imp.fit so let's run this now we can go ahead and fit this so imp.fit and after that we can now uh, use that to transform so for transformation uh, we can let's go ahead and create another array so m is equal to np.array and here we need the same number of columns so because those are the number of features should be the same in the in this data set as well so we'll create np.na in here and then finally we have np.nan and 6 followed by 7 and 8 in uh, the last row there so now what we can do is go ahead and try to transform this one so ideally i was imagining this would be 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 and 8 so let's see what we get when we perform the imputations imp dot fit underscore uh, we just need transform so imp dot transform and here we have m uh, made array and when we run this we get the values and let's go ahead and round these to two decimal places and uh, how about three decimal places so these are the values that we get after imputation so the first value is very close to one so we were expecting that to be one and that so that's very good that's pretty powerful so we have one two three and again this value uh, is very very close to four we have 3.99 and that that's pretty awesome so uh, it was able to get very close to what we were thinking it could be and then finally this missing value is five and that's what we we're thinking as the what that value should be so this is pretty amazing and powerful method for imputation now wh why don't we go ahead and see uh, look at other estimators that we also looked in the slides so how we can use those to impute the missing values so we have the estimators and the first one so let's go ahead and create that as separate heading the first one we'll use is a decision tree regressor so imp is equal to iterative imputer and estimator is equal to decision tree regressor and here we specify max underscore features is equal to urt and then random underscore state is equal to zero and uh, then we perform the fit imp dot fit on x and then imp dot transform we are going to transform m instead of x and then this is the output we get and this is as before we get very good output so we have one two three which is what we expect four five and then we have six seven and eight so the values one four and five are very correctly predicted in this case next instead of the decision tree regressor let's try the extra trees regressor so uh, this would be extra with a capital e trees regressor and here we'll use n underscore estimators is equal to let's use 10 random underscore state is equal to zero 
and now when we run this one we can see that this also does a pretty good job of imputing the missing values now after this let's use the knn so k neighbors neighbors uh, regressor and for this we'll specify n is equal to in neighbors so is equal to 2 and when we run this uh, now as you can see in this case the imputation is here instead of uh, 1 we have 2 and here we have 3 here we have 7 instead of 5 so that uh, if you try this on a larger data set you'll get uh, a more idea about how each of these work so this is a small example to show you the implementation of each of these methods i hope in this video you learned uh, what is multivariate uh, method for imputation how the intuition behind how it works and then how to use the iterative imputer even though it's in the experimental stage it's uh, really powerful as it works and we need to uh, check on updates as they come and finally uh, we also looked at different estimators so bayesian ridge is the first one which is default then we have decision tree regressor extra trees regressor and k neighbors regressor and in the next video we'll look at comparison of uh, some of these methods and see how they work uh, for uh, calculating the or imputing the missing values when we look how does the data look when we do it all together on one sample data set that was it then for this video i hope to see you all in the next video please like share and subscribe thank you